So, uh, I went to sleep last night um, after seeing, getting back and watching Deadpool and Wolverine, and I hear that RDJ is back. So, and apparently he's going to be Dr. Doom. So, yeah, I am excited. There's a part of me like it's split in two. There's a part of me that's like really excited, like, oh my god, RDJ's back. He looks like he wants to be back. I know they paid him a fucking king's ransom to come back. The Russo brothers, they're back. They're gonna be directing two movies, I think Avengers Doomsday and I think uh Avengers Secret Wars. Um, which is great. You know, the the Russo brothers, they're really great at what they do. They haven't failed a Marvel movie yet. I can't speak to their other stuff post Marvel, but you know, it is what it is. And there's another part of me is like, this shit is the most desperate of desperate. And I think the reasons for this, and I really wish they found, and you probably heard all the commenters saying they wish they found other people to kind of like come back and do a Dr. Doom. In my, in my honest opinion, I am excited for this. Do I want to see this? Yes. Am I very, very scared? On how this could turn out yes and the reason why i say that is because marvel sans deadpool and wolverine has and i said this many many times in my videos regarding marvel they've just not been at peak level they've just not been at phase one through phase three in a while and with all the things that are happening it seems like they're grasping at straws like we're, we're just we're throwing a hail mary RDJ caught it and we're hoping this could just really put us back in, 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 in the, in the driver's seat in terms of making quality comic book movies. Um, there's been arguments whether people are just tired of the comic book genre. They're tired of bad movies. They're tired of bad content. They're tired of people just phoning it in and expecting people to just turn out like, we're Marvel, baby. We can do anything. And you just buy a ticket and you'll attend their movies and you'll buy their merchandise and you'll watch their crappy shows. And it'll be just, it'll be rolling. But it hasn't turned out that way. It's turned out the complete opposite. And another part of it is James Gunn. James Gunn is a brilliant director. He's a brilliant screenwriter. And he knows what he's doing. He is one of Marvel's golden boys in terms of, like, directors, you know. And when they lost him after Guardians of the Galaxy 3, it put them in a really bad spot. We don't have a lot of directors. Other than like Ryan Coogler and the Russo brothers, um, to really knock this out of, knock this out of the ballpark for us in terms of getting asses in seats to watch our shit, and it seems like they are terrified of Superman, and I say that because Superman is the foundational superhero for all comic books. I don't care if you agree with me or not. He is. He is the template for all comic books that come up. And yes, he's inspired by Greek mythology. He's inspired by, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these myths. But in terms of what Superman represents, hope, truth, justice, and for all, and all that stuff. If James Gunn nails Superman, it's literally, it literally blow, blows the doors open in terms of getting people to truly appreciate where comic book movies could go and i'm talking about like the richard donner like christopher reeve superman if he i'm not i'm not expecting him to one up that but i'm open i am i am opening my heart to this because i love superman i love what he represents i love what what he is in terms of a character some argue that he's boring some people argue that he's out of date but there's so many more layers there's so many great stories about superman that have not been explored so many facets of Superman's character that have not been explored because we're on that Batman trip. You know, Batman just print, we can print money with Batman and we can go do no wrong with Batman. But I want people to focus. I want James Gunn to knock this out of the park. And I think this is what scares Marvel. We we don't have strong legs to stand on. And the one who started this entire thing in terms of our Marvel Cinematic Universe, RDJ, if we could get him back. And have him be such a pivotal villain, like like acting chops. I know he's going to knock this role out, but in terms of like, if we could get people back 
I think we'll be we'd be in a nice competitive pocket is what I'm trying to say in terms of validating what we're what we have to offer you know I I hope Tom Holland comes back and he can he's the only one that probably remembers Tony Stark and for him to see this variant of Dr. Doom like I'm just speculating now I don't know any of the story I'm just speculating but to have Tom Holland Spider-Man come back and just see this Tony Stark or this version of Tony Stark in a brutal way will probably break his heart more but will hopefully cause him to cause him to rise above and become the Spider-Man that we all know and love, the true Spider-Man. And he's he's always been a great Spider-Man. He's a he's a great actor. But this news, I I am excited for it. It's just there's there's hesitation. It almost feels like the same feeling that I felt when they announced Last of Us 2, Last of Us Part 2. Where I was like, Last of Us did such a great job. Like why we're going to ruin it if we do a part two. You know, we have the potential to ruin it. And it's been one of Sony's most divisive games. There's another facet that also disappoints me because the the introduction of Tony Stark from beginning to end, it was so perfect. You know, for him just starting off the entire cinematic universe being just a a fucking egotistical, selfish piece of shit that was just brilliant, you know, that that, that made uh, a robot in a cave with a box of scraps to, you know, making nano nanites and improving people's suits and stuff like that. The, it was such an arc for his character. It was such a satisfying arc for his character and for him to embrace his, 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 his classic words. I am Iron Man. It seems like this introduction of this return almost diminishes his sacrifice because yes, I know he's, a variant of Tony Stark. This is not the Tony Stark that we we grew up with. This is a completely different timeline. But it's 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 it, 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 when I see Robert Downey Jr. Even to this day, I see Tony Stark. Like I, he's done many other roles, but like he's 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 been defined um, because of Tony Stark. And he's he's won Oscars for he's won an Oscar for Oppenheimer and is like, well deserved. But like a part of me wishes they found someone else for this and Robert Downey Jr. can just relax and, you know, do other movies and stuff like that. But I understand what this is. This is a marketing strategy. This is a way to inject new life into the Marvel. I guess it was phase five, phase six. We're rolling on phase six, seven. We're rolling on. And, um, we want, we, we need help. We need money. We need people to come back to the movies again. We, we, we want that Oppenheimer feeling. We want that Barbenheimer feeling. We want, we want people to remember what we used to be. And what better way to do that than to pull Robert Downey Jr. with a, a vault full of money back into this franchise, you know? And I'm pretty sure that, like, once RDJ comes back, maybe, potentially, you know, Chris Evans and Scar jo- Scarlett Johansson and, you know, all the other characters that were back from, from previous phases will come back. And if they don't, that that's fine. But I, I feel that if we start with him, we could get more talent. We get even better talent, you know, probably. Um, so yeah, um, I'm excited but conflicted. I'm I'm happy but a little disappointed. It is there's a lot of emotions in me, and I know they're scared. I know they're scared of what James Gunn will do, can do has done he's he's proven himself time and time again and they are they are their eye is fixed on stopping the potential of what james gunn's new dcu could do so yeah that's all i got um if you like what i'd say feel free to like share subscribe uh leave a comment and i appreciate it caps out